Toy Tractor Times is at the 2020 St. Louis Farm Toys Show, and the show is well known for its displays and the custom contest. We're here with Kelly Munchler. And Kelly, you did the Triple Crown last year, went in the St. Louis Show, Lafayette, and the National. Congratulations with a great display. Uh, but this time we're taking a look at a custom. Yes. So what do we have here? We've got a uh, scratch-built Kiwani Model 500 uh, truck elevator. So this is a Model 500? Yep, it's the official title. Okay. And um, Here's our original sales literature on it. We actually had one of these when I was a kid growing up. We don't have it anymore, so I couldn't go out and look at it, but I built this all from the sales literature that I have. Well, just taking a look at it, I, I always like looking at details, springs and chains and the PTO shaft, and of course you've uh, captured that here. It's all very nicely. galvanized sheet metal. Oh, okay. And Which brass. is what the real thing was yes. made of. Yeah, the real ones were galvanized. It, so, do, it does raise and lower with the hand crank. Okay, like this one is okay. right here, which can go up and down. But it's also equipped with the optional that came uh, as an accessory PTO raise and lower. Okay, it's now is that the... That's a kit you can Is put, that kind of right here? Yeah, All it's right. a kit you can put on them. If you take the original drive PTO off, mm -hmm. put it in here while it's hooked to the tractor with the chute folded up, you could raise and lower from the tractor seat with the mm -hmm. PTO. That'd be a nice option to yes. have. And ours had that on it. I can hear someone say, we're not going to spend that kind of money, <laughs> and then when they're cranking it, they probably wish they had. <laughs> but you still had to, there was a lever on the box, so you, mm -hmm. it was three positions, neutral, up, and down. So you okay. had to engage the lever with the PTO running to raise or lower. Well, let's take a look at the, I guess at the start where the corn would be coming in. And uh, so were, were you, would this just be corn or would you put grain on this as well? Or You could use it for uh, ear corn. Uh, you could also put small grains on it. Uh, and you could also take the spout off in the end and use it for hay bales. Okay. So you would unload right here and I guess it would feed up here yes. into the um, just rest of the chain. The next section all the way up. I wanted to ask you about the tires because I really like the way they look. Is that something that you hand cut or? The tires I brought from bought from Chuck Steffens. The okay. tires in the rims, and they're just uh, generic truck model tires, which is what uh, I've seen two different versions on the Kiwani: a rounded tire and then a flat truck tire like that. Okay, and we can kind of see up there just the bare bones tire. Yeah, that, they were cheap tires. <laughs> Too and fancy. They, and if they sat, most of them were flat most of the time, if it sat too long. I can, I can tell you that from experience. So then up here, you've kind of got the spout where you would direct the corn into the crib. And Correct. And inside the crib, I don't, I haven't made these, but you could actually, there's accessory chutes that you could buy that actually attach to the ring up here. Okay. So you could swivel them any direction you needed to to direct ear corn up inside the crib. And you could connect as many chutes as you needed to for the distance you need to cover. Well, it's a great build. And what do you, um, what did you use for the chain? How did you get your links? I just, and... I just found some uh, metal ladder chain off of Amazon. That's how I found it. Okay. Came in a 50 foot spool. We can see it goes back down through the, the center here. Yeah, that was quite an adventure trying to feed that through <laughs> after I, <laughs> I had to actually build a special wire harness that could pull the chain together and pull it all the way through with a coat hanger. That's one thing I wish I could film is, I mean, they just look beautiful when they're out here at the, the show and we can kind of pan back, but to actually see what you have to go through to, to create this is pretty neat. But in real life, this would scale out to about a 50, 52 footer. Okay. So when you fold it flat, would you put it in a barn or I guess it would be pretty long? Most of our sat outside. Okay. In fact, we had one that never left the corn crib. It stayed permanently okay. up against the corn crib. Well, thank you for sharing it here at the show. And are, are we going to be seeing you building another big display at some point? or Eventually in the future, yeah. All right. We'll build another display. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for checking out Kelly's elevator here. You can also take a look at Kelly's other 116th scale farm displays on Toy Tractor Times YouTube. Consider subscribing to the channel where there are hundreds of customs and farm toy displays. And you can also check out ToyTractorTimes.com Toy Talk, which is a great message board for talking about building customs like this one and farm displays. Thank you for watching.